Hey, what's going on YouTube? All my fellow road warriors out there, all you hustlers, bustlers, free spirited, take no crap from nobody types. What's happening everybody? My name's Antonio, welcome to another ride and another rant, folks. So, let's talk about, uh, I don't even know where to start. There's so many things that have been going wrong, especially yesterday. Yesterday I had a really bad day, immensely bad. It was horrible. You want to know how much I made? I made $37 my first four hours of work. And then I made about, I went home, I was so frustrated, I went home. And then I went back out for two hours later on at night. And I made 30 bucks. It was just a miserable day. Six hours. <laughs> I made I made a little over $60 in six hours. It was It was horrible. And a, a lot of it had to do with the glitch that DoorDash was experiencing. I thought it was maybe nationwide. I checked YouTube. Nobody was talking about it. Uh, but DoorDash did tell me that uh, their engineers were hard at work trying to fix the glitch. And I'll tell you what the glitch was. I'd go to a restaurant. I'd say, I'm picking up for such and such. And they would all say, most of the time, order was already picked up by another dasher this happened three times I wasted so much time with DoorDash support talking to support it, it was the most probably the worst day I've ever had in my two years of delivery driving for, for anything any app any company Grubhub Postmates Uber Eats DoorDash yesterday was the worst I'd go to a place, picking up for this uh, this guy's name or this lady's name, this customer's name. Oh, we just gave that order to another dasher. It happened three times, not in a row, but throughout the day, it happened three times. I wasted over at least an hour talking to DoorDash support. Then they want to verify it with the restaurants. Restaurant workers don't have to comply and say. You know, what, what do they, do they need another boss? This poor guy out of Five Guys Burger Place, he took the phone reluctantly and was like, I apologize, I said, look man, I'm sorry, you know. And DoorDash had to verify it with the merchant that indeed the order was given to another dasher. Then they wanted to know who that other dasher was. What was the dasher's name? Do they expect restaurant workers to remember all this? So the, re the, the restaurant worker was like, I don't know what her name was. All I know is it was the other dasher was a woman. That's all I know. And it, it was just a mess. And, and this would happen. I went to another restaurant. It happened at a another place. And the worker didn't want to talk to DoorDash at all. They were like, no, no, no. I don't, I don't need another. I don't have another boss. I don't, they're not my boss. And so I had to tell DoorDash that you know the, the, the order was picked up they had to call the restaurant themselves to verify it because the workers did not want to talk to DoorDash uh, <laughs> on my phone <laughs> but anyway it was a mess man it was just a mess and I lost a lot of money yesterday because of it and uh, I couldn't find a block today for, for Grubhub uh, I, I actually planned on taking off today but that's what happened. That's why I did not schedule myself for Grubhub. I wish I did. After I drop off this Postmates order, I'm going to go and work Grubhub off block. You know, there's a lot of drivers out there who, who say they get better offers off block with Grubhub than they do on block. I much rather work on block. I get fatter payouts on block. And I get them faster. I get orders quicker. Whereas when I work off block, sometimes... They, they make me wait 20 minutes before, you know, between orders, 15, 20 minutes, 10 minutes. Whereas when I work on block, I get orders before I even deliver the one I'm currently delivering. Uh, Grubhub just sends them to me, uh, you know, they send them to me real fast. So it's a pretty good region. Uh, it's why I can make $20 an hour here easily. Uh, but uh, I'll tell you why drivers say they get fatter payouts off block. It's not necessarily true. Yes, every once in a while, I got a $15 payout the other day off block. You're going to see that. Not as often as you would on block. I see way more $15 payouts 
$18 payouts on block than I do off. But they will come your way if you're working off block, just not as, uh, not as much. But one thing that you might find to be an advantage working off block over working on block, an advantage, folks, that's right, an advantage, is you see less of those low balls. You see less of those $3 low balls, $4 low balls. Because, let's face it, Grubhub knows that if drivers are working off block, it's likely that they're multi-apping. They know how drivers roll. They're not going to send drivers who are working off block $3 orders. And that's why as a premier driver, uh, not as a premier driver, but as someone who works primarily on block almost all the time, I see a lot of those $3 orders. Not a lot, but... I get my I get like three a day off offered to me and it's as if I'm either getting a $15 order or a $12 order or a $3 order it's like you know you can make good money per hour but chances are they're gonna send $3 low balls to drivers who are on block instead rather than drivers who are off because when I'm off block I see a lot of 750s eight dollar orders you know you get a lot of that six and a half seven and a half eight and a half and yes every once in a while you get something over ten ten bucks but i i find that if you're looking to just uh, you know play it safe and maybe get an eight dollar order or two and work off block which i'm gonna uh, which i'm gonna do now i'm about to do that now as i after i deliver this postmates meal then you may want to switch on Switch Grubhub on, off block. Do it. Anyways, guys, I'm out of here. I got to go deliver this. I'm going to work off block tonight. Hopefully, you know, I can make $15, $16 an hour. I'd be happy being that I'm off block. When I'm on block, I want to make 20 and I usually do. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Be well, guys. Be safe on the road. Work at your own pace. Remember to stop and smell those roses from time to time. And most importantly, guys, keep riding and shining while you do it. And until next time, this is Antonio signing off.